So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Alabama, Gulf Shores, and the surrounding areas. Well, today we are going to discuss um, restaurants that are nicer restaurants that you would not want to consider if you're on a budget. So yes, <laughs> you know whether you're vacationing at the beach or you live here full time or you're moving to the area, um, you you're going to want to know what restaurants you know are going to fit what budget. So we get this question a lot, where to go eat, and people absolutely love that. So we, we did want to actually talk about the ones that are not going to be budget-friendly. So this is our top 10 not budget-friendly places uh, to eat at the beach. So let's get to it. guys if this is your first time on the channel hit the like button subscribe button and ring the little bell that way you can be one of the first ones to learn about the current market conditions going on in Gulf Shores Orange Beach and the surrounding areas and also learn about the beach life and what it's like to actually live here my name is Aileen Fountain along with my partner Andy Hollis we do these videos each and every week just to be informative and let you know what it's like to live at the beach so whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about making the move, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We hear from people just like you every single day and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, we are gonna go over the top 10 not budget friendly places to eat in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach and surrounding areas. Now listen, by no means are we not telling you not to eat there. We actually some of these frequent. are so yeah, some of these restaurants are our favorite restaurants. Yeah, we frequent these places. But what we're trying to tell you in this video is that uh, these are not budget friendly. I mean so be prepared. Yeah. You know, so if you go there and you think, you know, don't be shocked whenever the bill comes back and it's hundred and fifty bucks for dinner. I mean it's well, the know, truth is, in today's world, there's very little that is budget-friendly, which is exactly why we did a top 10 budget-friendly, because it is so hard to find something that is decent priced today, especially when it comes to eating out. Yeah, I agree. So, so listen, let's get started with the list. We, we, we make lists for everything, so yeah. we did a list for this, too. So, so number 10 is going to be Carver's. Carver's is a steakhouse, uh, our steak restaurant in Orange Beach. It's in the Public Shopping Center tablecloth restaurant um actually I've, I've eaten there once and i thought the steak was really really good oh god um, yeah, i love it a couple people at the table got the salmon or the fish and they were not as happy with their meal but everyone and it was a big group of us so it was a birthday dinner everyone that got a steak was happy with it so um yeah tell you a little secret the scallop potatoes there unbelievable I well mean, that is good to know yeah so you get a steak, of course, and then you, as, as get your the side, potatoes. Get the scalloped potatoes, unbelievable. Okay. I mean, remarkable. Good, good to know. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, Carver's is one of it. Usually, if we're going to go out, it, it's one or two places, you know, if, especially if we're wanting a steak. You know, everybody in the world goes to Big Mike's, but I'm just not a Big Mike's fan. I didn't, I just really didn't care for it. But that's just me, you know. But, I mean, people seem to love it because Big Mike's is packed. It's always packed. Always packed. But we go to local and company, and then we go to Carver's. We go to Carver's a lot. Um, and, and Jesse's. And, and Jesse's. Well, but, that's a, yeah. And Carver's is, um, you know, it, it's just so easy to get into. There's, um, you do have good, to make that's reservations. That's a good point. That's you a good do have point. to make reservations on, like, Friday night, I think. Friday night, Saturday night. But during the week, they normally don't, you, it's, reservations aren't really required because they're not really, I mean, they're busy, but they're not so busy that you can't get in. Yeah, you know, that, so. that's a good point. So if you're going to spend the money, go there and not have, you know, an hour wait like you will somewhere else. So. Yeah, so number 10 was carbs. Number, number nine. nine is a place that neither of us have actually been to. Yeah. Um, I have been wanting to go there because I hear that they have good sushi. Um, I've looked at their menu online. Looks like they've got some fun drinks. I don't and some, eat sushi. <laughs> some other uh, they've obviously got other things than sushi but number nine is Steffi and it is in Orange Beach it is next to the Walmart in Orange Beach on Beach Road um, it, for forever for a million years it was Franco's Italian restaurant which would have made the probably made the budget friendly oh, yeah. list but now yeah. it's Steffi and um, I, I, at some point I am going to get there and then I'll give you a, a full review of it but neither yeah, one of us we'll do there. a video there so yeah, yeah. absolutely um, number eight, Andy. Uh, number eight is Playa. Playa, right? that's right. Um, number eight is Playa. I Playa has a um, a really good brunch. Um, I mean, 
and it's I, I think their brunch is not quite as expensive as it is if you go there for dinner so if you go there like on a friday or saturday night it, it can get kind of pricey food's really good atmosphere is really good i mean phenomenal view i mean everything about it is fantastic um except you know for the prices i mean it's a it's a bit pricey um but they do have a really good brunch on sunday so you might want to check that out i mean it's uh but again you know be prepared <laughs> you know take an extra credit card i mean because it, it is kind of pricey so number seven on the list is another one in Orange Beach, um, fresh off the boat. And I um, actually hand this one over to Andy because he just recently ate there. And um, I got, got a big ticket shocker when he ordered the, the market price crab claws. Yeah. You don't do that without finding out what they cost. Right. Like 55 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it was either 55 or 60 bucks. Yeah. For the, for the crab claws. But, um, Big mistake. And, it, and, it, and it, <laughs> hey, listen, it was my fault because I didn't ask. You know, I just kind of like, yeah, just bring me those. But when I it mean, says market price, <laughs> that's code for very, very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but now, fresh off the boat, again, it, it is kind of pricey, but again, it's worth it. I mean, it, if if you're willing to spend the money, you know, because the views are fantastic. It's right there in San Roque Marina. Um, we just did a video on San Rock K showing you what all the, the San Rock K is about, you know, all the little shops and everything. And uh, the atmosphere is phenomenal. I mean, the floor, you need to go in there just to check out their floor. Their floor is, is unbelievable because it looks like you're, you're literally walking on water. I mean, like the, the way the floor looks. So it's, uh, they have really good drinks, but, but again, everything's kind of pricey. I mean, yeah. it's like, I think where, you know, you can go get a mixed drink at say like Kitty's Cafe for two dollars. You'd pay eight or nine dollars. Two dollars is just unrealistic, Andy. But but you pay eight or nine dollars for the same drink there. Um, but anyway, and the, and like I said, the food's really good. It's just a little, yeah. to, in my opinion, a little on the pricey side. But again, still worth going. So. Number six on the list happens to be my favorite restaurant. So know that, that I'm leading in with this is where I go um, out to eat. I absolutely love it. Food is always good. And that is Big Fish. Yes. Big they Fish have is great. Sushi's good. Steak's good. Tons of fresh catch fish every single day that you can choose from. And, and you can get it all different kinds of, of, of sides and ways. And it is... It is the name Big Fish. It is a very good fish restaurant, very good seafood restaurant. Now, one thing about Big Fish is they do have a happy hour, and during their happy hour, you can get, uh, I believe, they have wine specials, mm -hmm. and we, they also yep. have appetizer, appetizer specials. specials. Yep, we've, so, been to that. we've been to their happy hour. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can, you know, go there to kind of offset your budget. If you go during happy hour, you just have to kind of That's check it out. That's a very good point. Um, but now, if you go there during... Uh, you know, Saturday night, and you it, even sometimes, even if you make reservations, there's a line. And there, mm -hmm. listen, there's a reason there's a line is because Big Fish is worth it. I mean, it's a really nice restaurant, it's really good food. Um, but yeah, you got to pay for it. I yeah, mean, absolutely, <laughs> it, is, yeah. it is what it is. Seafood is not cheap, yeah. Um, so number five on the list is um, the hangout, which I personally don't go to the hangout. Um, Locals do not really go to the hangout. It's a real touristy spot. Um, you are paying for the view. The view is fantastic. I mean, it is, it's on the beach in the city, hardest city of Gulf Shores. I mean, right when you come down 59, you dead in into the hangout and the um, city beach, the city of Gulf Shores beach, and the hangout is right there. So it's right on the beach. And, 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 and you the, pay for it. You do. You pay for it. The food, the <laughs> drinks, all of that is very pricey. It is a good place to take kids. So it's a good place for families. Tons of TVs uh, if, if you want to go there to watch sports and sit at the bar. Um, it's got a good atmosphere, but it, it is pricey. And I mean, it's the food's not bad, but it's nothing special. No. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's if you like, like Alien just said, if you have kids, it's a good place to go. I. I don't have kids, and so therefore, I'm not saying I don't like kids. I love kids. I have kids, and we I just, still don't I, go there. <laughs> I, just, I, I love other people's kids, but yeah. So I mean, the the fact is, I just don't really go there because of that. Yeah. Because of that fact, you know, it's just always loaded with kids, and it's always just so, to me, it's just always so loud in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess you know it's the old saying: if it's too loud, you're too old. Well, I guess I'm getting, <laughs> I guess I'm getting too old. So. 
Uh, (laughs) Number four on the list is actually owned by the same people who own Hangout, and that is the Gulf. Um, Andy and I both Ooh. love the golf. I do. Um, you you are again, once again, you're paying for the view. It is right on the golf. It's at the pass. You can see the boats coming in and out. Unbelievable view. And um, at least with the golf, and this is why I can justify it. At least with the golf, the food is really good. Yeah, it's um, really good. You you do pay a lot, and I mean, and you you walk up and you order from the counter. It's not like you even get you know have a server and you get like this you know excellent experience from the <laughs> service standpoint. You got to go order at one place for the food. You go order at the bar for your drinks. You your gotta, food basically comes on a paper plate. You go to, <laughs> yeah, you go to two different places. It comes in a paper bowl. So, but the food is good. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, and if it's if it's and nice, the service out, is always good. Yeah, the food does come out really quick. So I mean, if it's a nice day, the Gulf will be packed, and um, it is some some place that we both like to go. Yeah, I love going there. Just uh, I mean, occasionally, you know, if, especially if you got a little extra money to spend, you know, uh, hey, you want to go to the Gulf and <laughs> blow some money? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just it's fun to go there because of the atmosphere, because yeah. of the view. You know, the whole. I mean, it's just a phenomenal little place. But it's pricey. It is pricey. So number three, Andy? Number three is Cobalt, um, which, again, you know, every place we keep naming has phenomenal views. Most of them are on the water, you know, and and that's the reason that they're pricey. Cobalt is a good example of that. I mean, it's, uh, they, again, they have a good Sunday brunch. They have like a, it's a buffet style, all you can eat uh, Sunday brunch. And, And it's still a little pricey, even for that. But still... Again, the food's good. the The service is always good. The atmosphere is phenomenal. The view you just can't beat yeah. it. I mean, it's right there, you know, under the bridge, the the Perdido Pass bridge, right there underneath mm-hmm. it. And I mean, it's just they have plenty of parking. Um, they have so many. I don't. I don't ever remember having to wait there. I mean, it's always been. It's a big restaurant. It's a really big yeah, restaurant. It's a really so, big restaurant. It's loud, but it's big. And it's it again. They in the summertime they'll have a, a live music outside mm-hmm. um, and an outside bar yeah. too. Um, did I say loud music or live music? Live. live music. You said live. I said it was loud. You said it was live music. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be live music outside. And it's and like I said, you can pull up there by boat, um, and it's just a it's a cool little place. But it is it is pricey. That's why it made the list. So um, number two on the list is the Perdido Beach Resort. Um, it is a very very nice restaurant. Uh, Perdido Beach Resort is directly on the Gulf. It is a right before you go over the pass. It is in Orange Beach. It's that big like kind of reddish pinkish building. So it's, it's probably, I guess it's the nicest hotel in town, but the restaurant is really good. The food is really good. I've only eaten there a handful of times, but uh, it, it is pricey. It, you will pay for all of that, but it is, at least the food is really good. So. Yeah. And if you're staying there, it makes it real convenient. Yeah. You know, it, you can or just, if you're walking distance. Yeah. yeah absolutely. But, but they do, um, I say they, ha- they may even have valet parking. I think they, I, I'm not sure if. I'm not 100% sure. I think not, they do. But I think they do. I think they do. So, anyway, so number one, Andy. Number one, number one is, this shouldn't come as a shock because you've seen it in several of our other videos, but number one is Fisher's Upstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Fisher's Downstairs, You could we could have put it on the budget. It's thing. different menu. Close. Different yeah. menu, everything's different. Everything's different. different downstairs. Upstairs Upstairs is, is white tablecloth. Tablecloth. Um, um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure they have a dress code, but... I, it almost makes you feel like they do because almost everybody in there has on a collared shirt and usually, you know, kind of dressed to the nines. But it, it's Fisher's, it's, you know, I'll be honest with you, I personally didn't care for the food only because I'm not a frou-frou type of person. I'm just not that guy. I'm, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Now, everybody I've ever talked to who's eaten there, and they love it. I mean, Fisher's is one of those places you either love it or you hate it. Yeah, you know, so. I would say, yeah, I'd say that's <clears throat> probably accurate. I've actually never been because I have to bat- pass Big Fish to get there, and I never <laughs> I never end up passing Big right. Fish. So. Well, I'm kind of the same way because I have to pass Tacky Jacks to get <laughs> there, so if I'm going to go eat, you know, I'm like, well, let's that's see. That's polar opposite. Let, let me look at the wallet. <laughs> Tacky Jacks it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, so, it, Fisher's is, like I said, 
I didn't care for it only because I'm not that type of person, uh, but everybody I've ever talked to seems to love it. I have some friends of mine who go there all the time, and they, they love it. Yeah, so. I've heard of people that say every time they come into town, they, they go to fishers. <clears throat> yes. So i um, not saying don't go there, just saying take your wallet. Exactly. And maybe an extra one. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to just about do it for our uh, top 10 least budget-friendly places to eat at the bit, at the beach. Um so, uh, it, if this is the first time on the channel, hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn about the current market conditions and what's going on at the beach, what it's actually like to live here. You know, the beach life. Yeah. So, until then, we hope to see you around town.